got that I can just reappear places and what's up YouTube today we're doing this fade transition where you can make yourself reappear and disappear into different scenes and have a cool scene transition that way if you want there's no green screen retire retire there's no green screen required and you can just do it straight with Premiere Pro all you need is a scene and another scene and then you just fade them together I'm gonna show you how to do it so let's go First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open Premiere, get the clip that you want, drag it over here. Once it's here, take that clip, drag it onto the timeline. I'm gonna move the sound up and then make it muted so that I can concentrate and there's no reverb for you guys. Just kinda of scrub through it. Make sure that it's the stillest possible section. So it looks to be about still right there. And you want the background to not have you in it. And this, the, the less things that are going on in the background there, the better. There's, there's things in the background when you transition to a scene when you're in the background and the background has changed, there's going to be like this blurring effect and the, this ghosty effect, and that's not good. So you want the backgrounds to be the same as much as possible as you can get them to be. So if there's movement in the background, try and eliminate that or do it really fast where you're, you run in and then you can go. You just want it to be the same as much as possible. So you have your clip. I deleted that section because it's pretty, uh, pretty stable there. So let me preview it. Okay, so that looks like a good section. Cut that off, and then I'm gonna go. To, uh, I'm gonna go to the portion where my dogs and the GF are not being complete derps. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen. So let's just take this clip here. I'm going to delete the middle section and then layer it on top. Here. Come up here to the top right, go to the effects, type in Luma, L-U-M-A. Of course you can spell, I didn't need to spell that for you. Drag it onto the layer. You can see that it's just like this ghost effect. If you try and preview this and you don't have Master Race computer, it's probably going to lag and your computer is going to start to sound like a jet engine. So come over here to the right, drop down your resolution to one fourth and you can preview it smoothly. She's kind of like a ghost effect. Bring it back to the beginning. Come over here to where it says Luma key. Um, let's bring them both up to 100 threshold. Cut off both to 100 and then click the stopwatches. So we're inserting keyframe here at the beginning. And then let's go forward to where we want her to appear. About right here. Drop those keyframes down to zero. If we preview it. She like fades in. And then I started to pick up the camera because I have to take my dogs out. But you can see that she starts to fade in here. That's kind of a neat effect. You can do this another way uh, with a gradient wipe. So come over here to the left, click on Luma key, press delete. Flip flop the order of your layers, bring up uh, bring up the background layer above it, and then come up here to the right and type in gradient. We want a gradient wipe. We want the one with this film block icon. This is like a pre-auto thing. That's it's garbage. You don't want it. Take this one, drag it on to the top stable background layer. Come to where you want the transition to start. I want my transition to start about right here where they overlap, and then over here click on this layer because it has it. Over here we can see gradient wipe transition complete zero. Good. And then let's come forward to the end of the clip and then move it up to 100%. So there's like the side wipe that you can do as well. If you want to mess with that a little bit you can change the softness. 10% is usually good. then off they go. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll make sure to get to them. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, putting out new videos every day. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.